Hello, boys and girls. Let's talk about sundials, specifically these websites. Two places I want to show you, two websites that are going to be most useful for you. Uh, let's start with this one, as a matter of fact. You can see up in the URL there that this is the one that I've been talking about with many of you as we've had our conversations, sundials.org. This is cool. This is the North American Sundial um, Society. And they update this page every once in a while, I imagine, and they talk about the sundials, the, uh, uh, the sundial in Malta that was built in uh, 1695 is being restored. That's kind of neat. Um, all of these other stories and uh, what? Uh, somebody stole this uh, uh, sundial. Why would they do that? That's terrible. So if you're into sundials, this is a great place to look at it. Oh, look, uh, select sundials. So if you happen to live let's say in Colorado, uh, as at least one of my students does. Um, is there a sundial in Denver? Oh, I'm doing her work for her. Look, uh, there in Denver, a large horizontal sundial. Look at this one. This is kind of neat. I think I like this one. Uh, this is in City Park, west of the pav pavilion. Oh, I'll tell you folks, this assignment could be very easy if you go to the sundials.org. You know, the one where you uh, need to find your sundials. So anyways, look at that. There are all sorts of places all over the planet, this, all of these listings for uh, North America. So if you happen to be one of my students in North America, this one is easy. The other one that I wanted to point out, and I don't want it to be too long with this, in Michigan, you can see down here, this is the sundial I've been telling you all about. This is the one that I put on this site. That is, in fact, my image of this sundial uh, on the grounds of the Cranbrook campus. Uh, there are some details of how this works, and you can get a nice larger image of this. Where is my big image of it? There it is. Let's make it big. This is the picture that I took. Very nice. Uh, I told you, there's the wings. Isn't that neat? Uh, and this is just in the garden behind uh, the Booth Mansion, the Booth family, very wealthy family that uh, uh, first established Cranbrook schools a hundred years, more than a hundred years ago. People will walk through the gardens and see this thing. Um, and there's the sundial. That is what we call the gnomon. You can see it casting a shadow. And it looks like here, at least the solar time is about 11 in the morning. Uh, so that is that sundial. There you go. That's the sundials.org website. The other one that's going to be fun later on in the same unit, you have to make a sundial. You have to build a sundial. This is the Atlas of Sundials. There is the URL, uh, www.sundialatlas.eu. And I'm at the Home tab there. Lots of things to look at here, but I want to draw your attention to this tab called Nomolab. What the heck is Nomolab? I can scroll through all of these little paper models here. Takes a while for them to load. We'll give them a little bit of time. Um, this one's kind of neat. This is a cone. Let's take a look at that. And with this application, you would be able to actually print out, it'll draw a PDF for you, it'll draw a paper. You could uh, print it on cardstock or some stiff paper and then actually make this thing. Oh, but wait. Um, I want to adjust a couple things here. The coordinates, um, wait, why are the coordinates defaulting to there? I want to put my coordinates in here. And right here at Cranbrook, I am at 42.15 degrees north and 83.24 degrees west. Save that. So it'll make this specifically, it'll make this sundial just for my location. Because we do understand that the sundials have to be specifically made for a particular location here. Uh, let's see, do I want it every 10 minutes? or you know, If you have it every five minutes, it gets too busy. There's too many lines. Maybe every 15 minutes, it looks a little bit cleaner design. Uh, I'm going to have, um, oh, we could put the analemma there so that you could actually calculate mean time rather than, than just plain old solar time. Remember, the sun speeds up and slows down. So this equation of time business um, will uh, tell you the actual clock time, the zone time. Um, there you go. This is good. This is good. And then I'm going to have it draw a PDF. And it does take a while for it to draw this PDF. It's doing all these calculations. We start off with a blank screen. I'm going to cut 
the video here. So after about, oh, this took two minutes or so. Please be patient. There you go, that's what you have to print. You print this thing and what the heck is that? I think we have to, oh, see these uh, lines here? This is where you have to cut it and fold it and paste it together. It tells you how to put it together. There's the base. Uh, it shows you how it's supposed to look when you're done. It tells you where to cut things. Um, Oh, I have to change the name. I wanted to change this here, this name right there to uh, Bloomfield Hills, Michigan. Oh, I forgot to do that. There's the equation of time. Uh, it does give me the latitude and longitude, and it tells me that I am at universal. Oh, that's, that's wrong because I have to change the universal time. Uh, okay, you don't make this mistake when you do this. You have to go back to the original page here where I set this up, and you have to change the... Uh, the title here, a little bit of trial and error there, change the margin, okay. Um, change some of the other things as far as the time zone that you're at. I am at UTC universal time, coordinated universal time, um, uh, minus five. So I want to, I want to change that. Do, 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 minus five is over here, Eastern Standard Time. There you go. Make sure you make all these changes because when you print it, uh, it'll actually be uh, just perfect for your location. I would look at all these other sundials that we have here. That one's kind of neat. Uh, that one just looks like a little bowl there. I don't know. That one's that could be uh, interesting. So, folks, have fun. This is great. You can make a sundial. You know what I thought? Once you get the paper model then you can, if you're really ambitious and good with materials, oh, would this be a great art project to, to make this particular sundial uh, in a sculpture class, in a ceramics class, as a pottery? Oh, yes, the, the mind just boggles here. Anyways, all right, let's have fun with this. Uh, I'm looking forward that when we, the, there's the separate assignment where you need to build a sundial. Looking forward to some interesting results. Have fun.